The death toll from a weekend fire rose from two to four today. A cousin of one of the victims speaking exclusively with Boston 25 News tonight. And Boston 25 News reporter Wale Aliu is following the tragedy for us tonight. Wale, all new at 10, you also spoke with the apartment building's owner. Terribly sad story, Ock. That owner says there were 21 people living in this seven-unit apartment building behind me that you can see is now a total loss. He says, sadly, some of them are even living in their cars or staying with friends tonight. The fire also spread next door, where 12 others are displaced. He hopes to have those tenants back soon. But the people displaced, although homeless, are thankful they made it out alive. They lived on the third floor. We found Christopher Lopez as he came to say goodbye to his cousin, who was one of the four bodies authorities pulled out from this Gage Street apartment after a massive fire Saturday morning. His cousin's girlfriend survived, but was one of four people injured. She's actually one of the one of the uh, persons that jumped out of the third story window, and she's in the hospital right now in critical condition with brain damage. The building owner, Jim Lee, says the fire started on the back deck and is now thanking someone who lived in the building for preventing more deaths. It was burning to everybody's door. Fire, fire, come out, come, go out, get out, get out. Still, fears remain that there could be more victims inside since there have been major delays with this investigation. There were snakes in the building. They, they, they couldn't get in there right away. The, uh, the fact that there was water, the, you know, the structure, the, the roof collapsed. While some residents came to see what could be salvaged. Pictures of uh, family that are deceased, other uh, items. Others like Lopez have to figure out how his cousin's three kids will go on without a father. He was a piece of glue in our family. He was just one of those pieces that stuck us all together sometimes. And we purposefully are not releasing the names of the victims until authorities do so. Those authorities are not just working on notifying the next of kin, but also working on looking through some of the surveillance video around here to see if there was any foul play. The residents around here telling us they did see some people walking around here moments before that 3.30 a.m. fire. For now, that's the very latest live in Worcester tonight. Wale Aliou, Boston.